Welcome to Infigyan. Today in this video, we have one very very interesting question from algebra. We have one Diophantine equation xy over z plus yz over x plus zx over y equal to 3. Given that x, y, z are positive integers, we have to find all possible triplets. So let's get started by writing our equation x, y over z. Then we will write yz over x. Then we have zx over y. RHS is 3. To make our denominator common or same, we need to multiply here with xy. So here we will multiply with xy also. Here we have to multiply with yz in the denominator. So we will multiply with yz in the numerator. Here we need to multiply xz or zx in the denominator. So we will multiply zx in the numerator also. Now we will simplify. So we can write x square y square over xyz plus y square z square over xyz plus z square x square over x y z equal to 3. Now denominator is same x y z. We will take LCM here with denominator x y z or LCM x y z. So in the numerator we will write x square y square plus y square z square plus z square x square with RHS 3. Now x, y, z are positive integers. So we can multiply both sides by x, y, z so that our LHS will be denominator free. Let's multiply RHS also with x, y, z. Now we will cancel our denominator x, y, z in the LHS. So we will get x square y square plus y square z square plus z square x square equal to 3 times x y z. Let's say this is our equation number 1. Now we are going to use am is greater than or equal to gm inequality. So we have to find out am of three numbers x square y square plus y square z square plus z square x square divided by 3. This should be greater than or equal to cube root of. We will multiply x square y square with y square z square with z square x square. Now x square y square plus y square z square plus z square x square as per equation number 1 we will write 3xyz over 3. This is our LHS. It should be greater than or equal to cube root of x square x square y square y square z square z square we will use exponent law and we can write easily x power 4 times y power 4 times z power 4. Now we will use exponent law here and we can write this will be equal to cube root of x power 3 plus 1 times y power 3 plus 1 times z power 3 plus 1. Again, we will use a power b plus c exponent law which says a power b times a power c. Let's apply this law here. We will get cube root of x cube, y cube, z cube. All cubes together times x, y, z. LHS will be 3 and 3 will get over 
will write x, y, z. Now we will use radical property to our RHS. So we will write here x, y, z. This should be greater than or equal to cube root of x cube y cube z cube times cube root of x y z as per our property nth root of a times b this can be written as nth root of a times nth root of b now we will write x, y, z should be greater than or equal to cube root of x cube, y cube, z cube. We will write x, y, z whole cube times cube root of x, y, z. Now we can cancel cube root with cube. So we will get x, y, z greater than or equal to x, y, z times cube root of x, y, z. Now x, y, z are positive integers. So they cannot be 0. We will divide both sides by x, y, z. Let us cancel x, y, z from both the sides. So LHS will be 1. We can write our inequality. 1 should be greater than or equal to cube root of x, y, z. Now we will consider cubing both sides. So let us write here whole cube in RHS whole cube. Cube root and cube will be over. 1 cube is 1. We can write 1 should be greater than or equal to x, y, z or x, y, z should be less than or equal to 1. This is very, very important result, which we will call equation number 2 or inequality number 2. Now, if I will write one condition, x, y, z are positive integers. So, the minimum value of the product x, y, z this should be 1. So we can write x, y, z should be greater than or equal to 1. Let's say this is equation 3. Now I will write our equation number 2. x, y, z should be less than or equal to 1. This is our equation number 2. Now from equation 2 and equation 3. From equation 2 and equation 3, we can conclude x, y, z should be equal to 1. Only equality will hold true. And this will happen if am equal to gm. So we can write here our conclusion. x should be equal to 1. y should be equal to 1. z should be equal to 1. Or we can write x equal to y equal to z equal to 1. If I will write our ordered triplet, I need to write x comma y comma z 1 comma 1 comma 1 only. Now we are going to verify our solution. So let me write here check. And I will write here x is 1, y is 1, z is also 1. Equation is written here. So let us begin with LHS. We will write xy over z plus yz over x plus zx over y. Let's put x equal to 1, y equal to 1, z equal to 1. We are going to get 1 times 1 in the numerator and 1 in the denominator. So 1 times 1 is 1, 1 over 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1. So our LHS is equal to 3 and RHS is already 3. 
So LHS equal to RHS. Our solutions x equal to 1, y equal to 1, z is equal to 1 is true. I hope friends you will like this video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.